Coming back to Africa can be amazing, but you have to have a plan. It's very important to plan, because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's a beautiful continent with a lot of opportunities, but if you don't have a plan, it can be a jungle. My name is Danny Balogun. I'm 33 years of age, I'm born in Lagos, Nigeria, grew up in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam. I served in the military for six and a half years, and I have a company called Red Sand Group, it's an investment company, and I have a real estate company, Sulex International, in the Caribbean, in the Netherlands, and in Africa. Growing up in the Netherlands, you know, from my African background into a Dutch culture, um, it's uh, I wouldn't say difficult, but I could believe that people could have an you know, identity crisis. Not speaking my native language, for instance, those are the kind of things that you know, still affect me. I joined the military, the Special Forces in the Netherlands, the paratroopers, and uh, it was one of the best times in my life. I learned a lot about myself, um, physically, emotionally, mentally. It was financially not the best place to be there, but I think one of the best decisions I've made in my life. I experienced racism, but joining the army eliminated a certain part of that racism because you're all wearing the same stuff, you know, you're wearing the same uniform and you're all you know, fighting for a common purpose. And um, I wanted that freedom. That's something that you don't have in the military. You're fighting for freedom, you don't have freedom. <laughs> I got in, into sales, direct, direct sales, and direct, direct marketing. And that's actually where I developed myself uh, more all around as a businessman. So my current business ventures started with an idea I had, sustainable houses. So I started with containerized buildings, structures. The first pilot project I had was a medical center in Nigeria. And that's how my business exploded in a good way. Currently I'm working on a huge project, it's a resort. It's called the Relief Estate. Do that with two friends of mine, and you know it's amazing to see that we started with something small, and now are building apartments for people to buy. The reason why I came back to Ghana is uh, my wife. <laughs> She's quite Ghanaian, and um, she uh, she really encouraged and inspired me to do more in the motherland. At one point, we were just. Um, I was doing well in the Netherlands, financially making steps, making investments. Um, you know, we uh, we had our first um, daughter, and um, after that, I think there was this whole Black Lives Matter situation. Um, COVID came, so that was basically the last drip for her to decide. You know what? We just need to go back to our own country where we can. Um, you know, feel accepted at a certain point and also to develop ourselves more as a person, letting our you know, children grow up in the motherland and um, accelerate with the business. My advice to people wanting to come back to Africa, you do have to have something here in Africa, you know, at least starting your business or work, you know, for an, empl uh, for, for an employer, come with a plan.